In May this year, the Cap the Gap Student Relief Fund was launched by Phoenix, an online fundraising platform that connects communities with university students in an effort to make online learning more accessible during our nationwide lockdown. The phase reintegration approach by universities used to curb the spread of COVID-19 means that some students may not be able to return to campus anytime this year and quite possibly well into 2021 too. To tell us more about the Cap the Gap fundraising campaign, I have great pleasure in speaking to Liana De Beer, Chief Executive Officer of Phoenix. Good afternoon, Liana. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. Firstly, please tell us very briefly about the major challenges university students are facing during this lockdown. So, um, because of lockdown, like you said, many campuses closed quite immediately and and students were sent home. Um, And many students rely quite heavily on resources that is provided by campuses or by universities. Um, So now students were forced home and they're sitting at home. They have to um, uh, unlock online learning. They have to go on to remote learning. But they're not resourced. To do that, so we've seen many, many students unable to continue their studies, and then even with the phase integration of opening up the campuses, even once the students are back on campus, many students still have to use um, access remote classes and remote learning, and then use public sites or public libraries. So students are actually quite exposed and feel quite unsafe. So we were trying to say, how can we help students to continue their, their academic year in a safe manner? Tell us more about the primary goals of the Cap the Gap fundraising campaign. So we started the Cap the Gap um, campaign in the end of May, beginning of June, with the objective to raise 6.6 million rand to support final year students and postgraduate students with computers, um, data uh, vouchers as well as food vouchers and um, those we pick final year and postgraduate students those students that we feel is closest to entering the job market and would be really really unfortunate if they're unable to finish their year because of a lack of a device or a computer and we, our aim is to raise 6.6 and help as many students across South Africa across the public universities as possible we've raised 3.3 million so far which is incredible and that's been through individuals as well as corporates helping us and we've been able to support about 380 students with either device, data, food voucher or combination of those three things. So what would you say then is the final goal the campaign is aiming to achieve? Ideally we want to raise another 3.3 million and get to that 6.6 million rand. Um, that's the, the first aim for Cap to Gap and to make sure that any student that needs a device are able to continue their studies and ultimately finish their degree. And then we as Phoenix organization, we work every day to ensure that students are able to access financing for their education and that they're able to, to end their degree successfully without a lot of debt. Um, so we really need to make sure that education, access to education isn't dependent on your wealth or your wealth status. So we're trying to help as many students as possible and that is what we're trying to do as Phoenix. Leanne, I'm sure you know this. As much as there are people out there who want help right now, there are also people who want to help others right now. Listeners want to know, how can they support? Is it possible for them to support the Cap the Gap Student Relief Fund? Absolutely. Um, I think with, with crowdfunding online platforms like Phoenix and Cap the Gap, it's really every single small action can lead to a very big impact. And, and if you have 50 rand to donate, um, that it has, you know, 50 rand, 100 rand, all of that will make a big, big impact. So if you're interested in supporting students with online learning tools, go to capthegapfund.org and donate as little 50 rand. Thank you so much for chatting to us. I'm going to chat with Zolani in a bit. Uh, but Leanna, it's great having you on our show this afternoon. Thank you. Leanna De Beer chatting to us on the lunch break. Supporting the campaign is singer, songwriter and actress Zolani Mahola. Here's Zolani sharing her thoughts on this campaign. I really love the Cap the Gap initiative for a number of reasons. Um, one of which is that it's, it's youth-led. Um, and of course, the other one is that it's trying to close the gaps in our society Um, as we know those who have access um, to resources and access to um, all of the things that we all have a a basic human right to there are people who have more access than others what is happening with cap the gap is that it's closing those gaps to access